Hello all and happy Wednesday. So today I'm filming this and it is Saturday. I had a nice cheat meal last night and I got chocolate covered pretzels as a little congratulations on my show from my friend Abby. They were fantastic. If you know me, I am obsessed with like sweet and salty things and those were delish. But anyway, so I had my cheat meal last night. It was so good. But the reverse diet is going good also. But we have another change coming our way. I am getting a foster dog today. I'm so excited. I fostered a dog back in July. His name was Gordon. I'll post a picture here or something. Um, yes, no, I loved him and it was so hard to give him up, but like, I'm so happy that like, I got him a good home. I was crying for like two days afterwards and Brian had to deal with like my crying shit. But anyway, so later today, I'm picking up another foster dog and I'm so excited if like, there's anything I'm extremely passionate about. It's it's I'm obsessed with like dogs and like like just helping them. Like one of my first jobs when I was like 15 or 16, I worked at the animal shelter and just like I'm obsessed with dogs. Like I can give a fuck about people. Dogs are like where it's at. So yes, it's something I'm very passionate about. And then I have my dog Storm who I adopted, and then me and Brian have Portia who we adopted probably two years coming up this month so oh and then eve we also got three years ago this month also oh my god so many dogs so we have this dog i'll post a picture here like the one that i got she's from west virginia and i'm so excited to get her later today brian is coming with me so my dog is just like naturally really good with other dogs and then this dog it literally looks like a mini storm like literally so, um, I think, I believe this dog is like a spaniel border collie type thing. So, and Storm's a border collie. So, they have like the same like instincts. Yeah, so I'm so excited to have this dog and hopefully, this sounds horrible, but like I almost don't want the dog for a long time because then I become like too attached. Like, it's impossible to not like get attached to dogs. Like having Gordon, like... I had him for about like three weeks, two weeks, three, three weeks. I don't know, but it was so hard giving him up, but the family always sends me pictures of him and stuff. And I'm always so happy to see him. He goes to the beach. He does like, he goes on bike rides and stuff. It makes me so happy. So hopefully I could get this dog acclimated to like what life is supposed to be like and get it a good home for the holiday season. So this dog they're saying is about one and a half years old. So not like a puppy, but it's still young. When I got um, Storm, she was like eight months old. She was young. And then when, Portia's a fucking old lady. We got her when she was like nine years old. So she's coming up on like 10 or 11 years old now. But you never know like what a dog is gonna be like or their habits. Like when I got Storm, she had no idea to walk upstairs. Like she didn't know what stairs were. So, cause she lived outside her whole life. And by whole life, I mean like eight months, but still like, she's like, what the hell are stairs? But obviously now she freaking flies down them. She's nuts. Um, so hopefully this dog gets along with Bentley. I feel like there wouldn't be a reason that it wouldn't get along with Storm. Cause like, I don't know. I just feel like it would. So we pick up later today. It's like one o'clock. We're going around like four or five o'clock to pick up this dog and we have to figure out a name. So I feel like we have to feel out her personality first and then just go from there. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm an avid follower of Caesar Milan. Caesar Milan is the best thing to ever happen to this earth. He's, if you don't know him, he's literally, he's called the dog whisperer. So he's basically this dog psychology like specialist. Like he knows like how dogs behave and what they need and what they like need to be done. Like he knows it all. So it's very important how you first introduce dogs to like a new home and everything. So I just want to do this right and not traumatize the dog so that I could get her a very nice home for the holiday season. And of course, at one point or another, we are going to have to hook her up with a Papachino. So if her and Stormy, they're all good, I'll bring them both like probably sometime this week and get them Papachinos. So they, she gets a little taste of the good life before she goes somewhere else. So I'm so excited to get her. But if anyone is looking for a dog this holiday season, 
choose to adopt, don't shop. And if you're interested about like how to adopt a dog or like where to adopt a dog, I'm gonna post like a few links below on like some information of like adoption and all that jazz and why you should not buy from a pet store breeder or like any of those stupid ass people. In quote, there's good breeders, but just an FYI, 14 million shelter dogs are euthanized every year simply because they can't find homes. So whether a good breeder or brat, whoa, good breeder or bad breeder, regardless, they are taking away from homes of shelter dogs. So adopt your doggies. So anyways, I'm gonna go inside and make my house dog proof. By the way, this dog is a year, a little over a year. So it's not like a puppy, but it's also not like an old lady. So hopefully Eve and this dog get along and they play nice and I also have a cat. So I'm feeling that Bentley is not gonna be having it, but he has his own like little condo downstairs. So he can hang out downstairs for a little bit and he'll come up when he's ready. But I'm gonna go inside, clean up a little bit and make the dog, I mean make, make the house a little dog proof. So I'll see you guys when I'm on my way to pick up this dog who doesn't have a name yet. Bentley. Are you ready for your friend to come? Whoa. Oh my god. Bentley. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, Evie, you ready for friends to come? You ready for friends? Oh, wow. <laughs> Where, Bentley? <gasps> Go get Bentley. Oh, Eve, nice. <laughs> Evie wanna play. Nice to Kitty. You nice to Bentley? Okay, so I'm leaving to get the doggy soon. I'm so excited. Little does Bentley know what is coming his way. Fun fact, I got Bentley this day, 10 years ago, from the woods as a little kitten. And now, he has some new friends coming his way. So, oh god, my hair. So, update, it's actually like, well, like 5.30. So, I got a text from one of the um, volunteer people that like handles the new fosters. They said that they, the dogs won't be here until like 7 because they're running late. So, I feel so bad for her. She's going to be so tired when she gets here. So, I don't want to overwhelm her. So, I'm going to go around 7-ish with Brian to go pick her up. And I don't think... Eve, Eve loves company, but I don't think Bentley's friggin' ready. He's going to be pissed. So, me and Brian are on our way to go pick up the little doggy. We're so excited. We started, like, thinking of names and stuff. It's going to be interesting introducing, like, my dog and, like, her. I guess we're going to do it outside. It's nighttime, though. So, she's probably exhausted. She's been in the car all day coming from west virginia right where we just came from we came from virginia which is like right there um so yeah she's probably exhausted so i plan on just taking her inside making sure like she has like water and food and stuff and she's all good to go and then honestly in the morning you know i'll let uh storm and her you know hang out and freaking bentley's gonna be hitting the deck so i'm gonna go get her and show her to you guys i'm so excited Brian, do you see her? Yeah, she's a baby Eve. She likes a treat. Hi, baby. Okay, so she's just sleeping, but... Oh, she's so cute. I love her. Hi, baby. Oh, there she goes. So my little girl is downstairs sleeping right now with Storm. Storm wants to play a lot right now, but she's not really into it. She's just kind of like warming up and checking out the area. 
Um, she's definitely tired. I'm gonna let her sleep because like obviously she had a long day yesterday, but all is well. She's settling in very nicely. She's very cute. And I gave her some food this morning, so she's just chilling. I think she's half border collie, half papillon. I looked it up. The ears kind of look like it. So, and she's like a little bigger than a papillon, so definitely border collie. So her and Stormy hopefully will end up playing with each other and getting along. And she also greeted Bentley. Bentley went up to her and was like, what the hell is this thing? And he smelt her and then just ran downstairs. But he is fully aware that she is here. A little update. Eve is playing with her toys. Um, they were playing for a little bit, but she's still very tired and very sensitive to new to everything. So we don't want to push her. They're doing very good. She's drinking a lot of water, which is good. She still hasn't peed, so we kind of have to figure that one out, but she's doing pretty good. Hi, baby. So here's a little update on my girl. We're just hanging out, <laughs> watching the Jets game. Oh, you like that? We're just hanging out. Come on, babies. Come here. Her tail is wagging, right, Evie? Come on. Hi. Look. Ah, oh, hi, babies. Evie, are you being a good mom? You're doing better? Evie, how's she doing? Oh, is that your friend? Fucking each other around. Oh, you're laying down again? Okay. Got some nice water and food. There's the lunatic. <laughs> Evie, where's the baby at? The baby hiding? What's wrong with the baby? Go get the baby. What is she doing? Come, Evie. Oh, is she bringing it to bed? And then there's this one. <laughs> Do you know how to play with toys? Or no, you don't know what toys are? Baby, what's wrong with it? You play? And baby get treat. Evie, you gonna show her how to play? Ready? Set? Go get it. Walk that far. Come on, baby. You come inside. It's only one little step. There you go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. I'm... Come on, baby. She has her head on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand that. Come on, baby. You can do one step. I carried you the whole you way. Oh my god, she's literally dead weight. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. You got two feet in. Come on. Let's go, baby. Inside. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh my god. Come on, baby. Did she go or no? No. Look, she won't even walk in that this far. Oh, Come wait, on. I got her two feet in. Come on. Oh, oh. Come on. <clears throat> so, oh God, it's freaking Amazon boxes. So, update, I took her outside to pee. Again, it was no go. She literally stands there and shakes the whole time. It's like you're a border collie. You're supposed to love the outdoors. But no, it's a no-go. Even if he, like, storms there, like, she still will not go outside. So it's definitely going to be a project. Hi, baby. Oh, my goodness. So I actually just got home from going out with Brian. And I came home and she was, like, all happy to see me. She was all, like, like spiced up. I was like, oh. Where'd you come from? So I'm actually gonna get ready for bed and then I'm gonna bring her to bed with me. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. 
Also, if you guys want to see more content like this of me doing wild, extra stupid, crazy things, or even just having a foster dog, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Hey, baby. Alright, she's all curled up and ready to go to bed, and we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning from me and my puppy. Legit, as soon as I took her downstairs, she literally peed on the rug. <laughs> um, I'm not mad at her because obviously she did what any other dog would do that hates the outdoors and needs to pee. Um, so right now she's actually very happy to see Eve and she smelled Bentley again. So she's thriving right now. But anyways, um, I'm going to leave her here alone for a little bit. I'm actually going to head to the gym really quick, but I'll be back. I wish I could bring her to Starbucks for a puppuccino, but she's definitely not a fan of the car. So I'm just gonna let her chill for a little bit. Alrighty, I just pulled up from the gym and I'm gonna go inside and see if, I think I wanna name her Holly. I really like the name Holly. I'm gonna go inside and see Holly and see if she gets all excited. Cause last night when I came home after not being home for like an hour, she was all like, oh, like you're back home. So I'm gonna show you guys me walking through the door and see if she gets excited. Yeah, hi, Eve. Evie. Oh, Evie. Come here. Come on. Oh, you waggy tails. Oh, there she goes. Back to bed. Hi, baby. Yeah, so it's just right that I name her. Oh, like your baby. You jumped up on the couch by yourself. That's nice. Right, baby? Come here. Oh, where are you going? Hi, baby. Oh, there she goes. You like the couch? You like the couch, baby? You could lie on the couch. Oh. Hi, Evie. My little animal friends. So fancy. Oh, you like Evie? <gasps> Evie, you're being such a good sister. Right? So good. Come on, babies. You want treats? Come on. Oh, here she comes, wagging tail. All right, everyone gets treat. Oh, that's Evie's treat. You get treat. That's nice. <laughs> you get treat. And the baby gets treat. Yes. Evie gets treat. <laughs> and the baby gets nice treats. Ooh. Oh, okay. Up there. Oh wow. <laughs> Evie, what is she doing? Hi, baby. Oh, a nice. There you go. <laughs> so we're currently in my bed. Taking a little nappy nap together. <laughs> so I'm catching on. I don't think she's an outdoor dog because each time I take her outside she just shakes I don't think she like understands like what the outdoors like are <laughs> but she likes the couch and she likes sleeping in my bed under the blankies and Eve is very confused about the whole thing like she's like why don't you love the outdoors like she's very confused and she always runs up to her and like tries to get her to do stuff and like it's a no-go it's not her thing but let me and her take a little nappy nap together and we will catch up with you later all right so i'm gonna try and take her outside again i mean she doesn't have to like pee or anything like i'm not holding her accountable just to, like go outside and maybe not completely shake this time would be nice um, I'm bringing her outside with Stormy, so hopefully she will be more comfortable this time. Does Evie wanna go out? Evie's gonna go outside. Oh, you go outside too? Are you excited? Or no? <laughs> oh, Evie's excited. I, oh no, oh, Evie, I know you are, oh, don't pull the baby. I know 
she doesn't like the leash. Oh, Eve, what's wrong with it? How does it not want to go outside? Let's go outside, baby. Am I going to have to carry you? Carried her outside. She doesn't seem too happy, but she's not completely trembling. So that's a good sign. Right, baby? You're not shaking like a leaf this time. She's not fully aware of how the outdoors are supposed to work. <laughs> right, baby? I know you're doing so good. You're outside and you're not shaking. You're doing okay. Okay, we have an update. She is smelling the air. <laughs> and Eve's throwing her body in the grass. Evie, go check on baby. What's wrong with her? Oh, here we go. She's coming over. Oh, she's lying down. I think they're stretching. Okay, here we go. She's warming up. <laughs> Come here, baby. Oh, you want to go under the chair? Is that what it is? Update, she has moved closer because Eve came over and she got all like excited. <laughs> She's letting me pat her nice. I know, but she wants to go inside. But you gotta pee outside. And you'll like playing outside, I promise. Maybe she'll see Eve run inside and then like she'll walk inside with us. I don't know. We have to see. Oh, Evie inside. Come on, she's already at the door. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna make me carry you? Because Eve is waiting for her. Come on, baby. Let's go in. Come on. One baby in. The other one is not having it. Come on, baby. Come on, you go. Oh no, here comes the shake. Come on, baby, let's go in. What's wrong with this baby? All right, I'm putting you on the stairs halfway and then Eve's gonna run past you inside. Be in. Come on. Oh, here we go. Come on. Let's go in with Evie. You had one step and you're shaking. Come on, let's go inside. Oh, here we go. You skinny eggs. Oh, baby, you did so good. Oh, come on. You can do that. I'm literally not doing that for you. Come on. Evie, what's wrong with baby? Oh, God. I put her paws on the door. Come on, baby. Maybe if I go inside. Maybe that's like what she's waiting for. Evie, what's wrong with baby? Come on. Inside. There you go. so good yes she's all out of sorts now evie did baby do good she did good that was a lot better very good i'm gonna take over here ready to throw down and then sleeper she's very confused Okay, nice. Ready, set, go get it. So here's an update. I'm cooking my next meal, which is like chicken fajitas and a vegetable. And she's in here taking a little nappy because going outside was very exhausting. Right, baby? Ooh, my hands smell like food. Hi guys, so the first like two days were a little rough for her, which is like completely understandable. So it actually ends up that I found out she was from a hoarding case in West Virginia. So this lady was an animal hoarder. So it makes sense. Like she probably just lived inside her whole life, never saw like friggin' daylight. So that's why she didn't like really understand the outdoors. But after this, I'm gonna post a few clips and she's had a dramatic change over the past few days and Friggin' Storm and her are friggin' lunatics, and they're out of control, the both of them. But anyways, enjoy these next few clips. <laughs> there they go. Oh. <laughs> Evie share. Oh. Oh, she's playing with the stick. Evie, what's she doing? And she just needed a little time and patience, which I totally expected, but her and Storm are absolutely like insane with each other. They're two peas in a pod, and I'm so happy to see her come out of her shell and show her true colors. But anyways, thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.